today's video is going to be about the Juno and Company sponge. If you guys have not heard of it, I will put it into their commercial right here. <laughs> yeah, sounds like the dream sponge, so I need that sponge ASAP in my life. So your girl ordered one. You guys, this thing is amazing. It was only $6, and yes, I couldn't wait, I already used it. But, you guys, $6 sponge. This sponge is like so, so good. Like my makeup has never been on that flawlessly from just a sponge. Like it's insane. Like my skin looks HD, you guys. Is this real life? Bring you guys kind of closer. Okay, so it's super fuzzy and soft and it feels like a blanket. Like, do you guys know that Christmas blanket that like mostly us Hispanics bring out during Christmas? It's that soft one, always has a huge animal on it. If you know what I'm talking about, I'll insert a picture of mine right here that I'm using right now. So that's exactly what it feels like, but it's for your face. It puts on your makeup flawlessly and it puts it on like so much. Okay, this thing does not soak up your makeup whatsoever. It all stays on top, so it's not eating your $50 foundation. This video is going to be about doing a whole entire face with just this sponge. That's right, my eyebrows, my, uh, what is it called? eyeshadow, my lipstick, my contour. I don't use blush, so not the blush, but it's gonna be everything for just this sponge. Actually, I wanna look up, do I have to do mascara? Oh my gosh, I hope I don't have to do mascara. It's a challenge that they're doing. I'm watching a video right now of someone else doing a challenge that they posted on their social media, so obviously these rules are allowed. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna do my eyes by myself because yeah, a sponge can't do my mascara, nor my eyeliner. So, first things first, I'm gonna put back my hair because I don't wanna look like a hot mess. And in case you guys are wondering why I'm gonna be looking right here, it's because my mirror is right here. So, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit more. Oops, that's the mouth. Zoom in, Gabby. Good job. Did I even say, this is Gabby's worldview, by the way, you guys. I'm a bad beginner YouTuber. Sorry. In case you guys are wondering where I got this headband from, it is from H&M. My boyfriend picked it out for me, and he has really good taste, so. You're welcome. I trusted that. So first things first, I already washed, moisturized, I did everything to my face. But something that I do wanna do is just comb through my eyebrows and put my phone on silent. It's Matthew, I love you. So, comb through my eyebrows because I'm Hispanic, I'm Arabic, I'm Irish, I'm French, I'm everything, but your girl has a lot of hair. So, I'm a little hairy and my eyebrows like to get untamed, so I had to just comb them. Okay, so first thing that I want to start out with is my eyebrows. And I usually use a stick from e.l.f. Is that even a pencil? Not a stick. A pencil from e.l.f. But I actually ran out. I used the whole entire thing. So no more for me. So actually this challenge came in perfect timing because it's either make or break, Gabby. Oh, I just hit my $50 found bronzer. Damn! Mark Jacobs, you guys. He doesn't play around, but it's beautiful. So the only eyeshadow kit that I have or eyeshadow palette that I have is the Dream Street by Kathleen Lights. I'm not an eyeshadow girl. Like, I'll rarely use it, and if I do, it's just like a tan or like a brown, and it's like one and done. So I'm not even that good at it. So I'm actually really curious to see how I'm gonna do putting using a sponge for my um, eyeshadow. So with this sponge, they do recommend that you wet it first, and it does grow about one and a half the times of its original size. So it did in fact grow, and it is already wet. It's pretty bouncy. It is a lot firmer than the original um, than the original Beauty Blender and also the Real Technique one and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so let's see how it does. So my colors that I'm going to be using from Kathleen are the Water Bearer and then to like kind of like, what is it even called? The end part of it. I'm gonna use the Twinkle. So yeah. Water bearer and twinkle. 
So first things first, oh my gosh, you guys, actually, I'm kind of scared. I don't know why I did that. I guess it's just a habit. But so as you guys can see, it just kind of stays on top. It's not moving. It's not soaking it in. So I'm just going to bring my mirror right here. Hopefully you guys don't get annoyed. Put it in the side. But I need it to see. Oh. So it's applying really smoothly, which of course is, oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, okay. Okay, I see you, I see you, I see you. So, oh my gosh, you guys. The sponge is helping apply like insanely smooth. And like I said, I'm not a eyeshadow girl because I'm not good at like blending my eyeshadow. So I just don't even bother with it. But this makes it so easy. And of course, if you guys don't know, the ColourPop eyeshadows are freaking creamy as heck. So, oh my gosh. Look, I mean, that doesn't look like half bad. That looks pretty good for just a sponge. What the heck? <gasps> impressed, very impressed. Let's see. So now I'm gonna do the other part of my eye with the same color the uh, water bearer. If I'm saying that wrong, that'll be so freaking embarrassing. The only thing is that like, the sponge is like so huge. <laughs> so like, I can't really see like where I'm aiming it on my eye, like what is actually on my eye. I'm kind of just like, hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. It's a quote from a Taking Back Sunday song in case you guys didn't know. Maybe it's from somewhere else and they stole it. I don't know, but that's where I know it from. So, um, I'm actually not too like mad about it. I like it. Like, of course, all that, all that, and all that's gonna be cleaned up with like my foundation and all that. But you guys, I'm not angry about it. Like, it doesn't look bad to me at all. Okay. <laughs> so now it's time for me to challenge myself a little bit more. I put stardust. Mm, okay, let me go on this side then. Because I meant to put twinkle. So let me just get some of that twinkle. Okay, on my brush. Uh, okay. Oh, it feels so good and it's applying it so well. So for those of us that travel, I travel a lot. I'm in a long distance relationship, so I'm always on a plane and I'm always forgetting stuff. So this will like make me feel a lot more at ease that when I'm traveling out with my boyfriend, when, when I go to see him and I forget like 50% of my brushes because I was so excited that I just forgot everything, that as long as I have this sponge with me, I'll feel a lot better about it. You guys, this makes me feel a lot better because I really do. Like every single time I go see him, I'm like, ah, I forgot everything. I just wanted to come see you because I love you and um, I forgot everything when we go to Ulta. And now I don't have to. That makes me happy. Okay. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so just ignore these, these like side parts that go away right now. But look at like the actual eye of it. Like it blended really seamlessly and it looks really pretty. I'll kind of zoom you guys. Do you guys like my Christmas tree? They're super like ready for the holidays. So, now that that is done, I'm gonna go wash this beauty because I don't want eyeshadow all over my face when I do my foundation, so I'll be right back. I gotta put on my sandals, you guys, because my mom always tells me if I'm barefoot, I'm gonna get sick, and Matthew's coming in a few days, and I don't wanna get sick. So, I'll be back. Okay, so I was just drying my sponge. It washes so easily, you guys, I just use um, the Johnson's baby shampoo and just kind of wring it out. It comes out super easily. It doesn't fight you for a different time. So like I said, this is the only eyeshadow palette that I have and um, I ran out of my eyebrow pencil. So my eyebrows are like black, I feel. So obviously the closest one is going to be this one. So that would be the Mooney. So wish me luck for that one. Okay, so I got some on the little tip. I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of brush it through 
brush it through my eyebrow. So, in case you guys are wondering why my camera position might be a little different, and also my face is wet because my beautiful camera decided to stop recording before I put on my foundation. So I had already put on all my foundation. I was telling you guys how much I loved it. And then I looked up and my camera just turned off. So I had to go wash off all of my foundation I just did to reapply it for y'all to show you how it applies it. So kind of a setback. So in case you guys are wondering like what the heck, where did all that like extra eyeshadow go? That's where it went. So this is the Hawaii Style Foundation. It's the all hours foundation. This is like a dream foundation. Like my skin literally looks photoshopped in it and I love it so much. I used two pumps. I'm just gonna go ahead and start distributing that everywhere. This is like a uber like, it will cover everything. Like you'll turn into the Harry Potter cloak of like, what is it? The cloak of invisibility. Whoa! My body's gone! Lady, like this is what this foundation does for you. Like it covers every, everything, everything. You'll be brand new from your mother's womb from this foundation <laughs> with the help of this foundation. So let's see how it uh, blends. So I'm gonna use the butt of this and the reason why it's dirty is because I told you guys my camera died and I was already done. But so I'm gonna use the butt of this and here we go. So it blends really seamlessly really easy and that's with the help of this sponge and yes i do blend all the way out to my ears like usually for full coverage i need to use like three or three and a half pumps this all my foundation is just staying on top it's not being soaked in it's not eating my freaking 50 dollars foundation it's all right there on top it's not going anywhere besides on my face I feel like it helped even more push in everything. Like it looks like it's more one with my skin, my foundation. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see it. So as you guys can see, it blended really like seamlessly and it looks like it's like photoshopped. Like I love it. So. Up next, after my foundation, you guys, I can't believe I've done my eyebrows, my eyeshadow, and my foundation all with one freaking sponge. Like, this is a really good sponge. So up next, I'm gonna contour. So my contour stick that I love, and it's super inexpensive, is my NYX one. So it comes, it's dual-sided. It comes with the highlight and also a contour. I don't really use the highlight because it's like exactly my skin tone, so like it's not really highlighting anything. So I'm just gonna start. I always go to kind of the, right here, like where my pupil is. Like that's where I draw it out to. Just to somewhat have it like a little bit more symmetrical. So next, I'm done, just kidding. So next, I'm gonna go in and blend it in. I'm just gonna kind of squish it just to kind of make it more of a thin sponge to put on, to blend in that contour. I'm going to now put in my um, finishing powder. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the bottom just so my contour can kind of stand out more. I'm using the NYX HD finishing powder, mineral based. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and use this flat end and just kind of push that everywhere. And so I put that on, so we're gonna kind of let that bake. While we're doing that, I'm gonna do my eyes. So my favorite eyeliner, because it stays forever and it's all natural, is the Tartiste by Tarte. It's dual-sided, so you have the point and then you also have the pencil part. So I like to use the, the point. Okay. So 
I'm just kind of wiping my Juno and Company sponge on my towel just because like it doesn't soak up the product like I told you guys so I don't want to put even more product so I'm just kind of running it across my face to get off the excess powder and it's doing a really good job it's not smushing off my makeup it's not like fully pulling it off it's doing a really good job so up next is my mascara so I'm a two mascara kind of gal my favorite mascaras are the lights camera lashes by Tarte and also the telescopic by L'Oreal so I put this one on first and I use telescopic to kind of bring them out even more even longer okay so I love it I love the way that this look turned out but we still have one more thing to do and I actually might make my eyebrows a little bit darker I feel like they can be like a wee bit darker so we might try that my Juno and Company sponge is pretty like beat. I think I used almost every single corner besides this little corner, yay! So we're gonna use that little corner for some lipstick. So this is the NYX Lingerie um, Exotic Lippy 12. No, Lip Lie 12, sorry. Oh, I almost ruined the whole entire thing. So I'm gonna get some. And I'm gonna put it on my sponge. Instinct almost kicked in, you guys. So, that is my, let me take this out so you guys can get a full effect. I feel like makeup, well my makeup at least, looks better when my hair is down. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, I don't know, but so um, yeah, so that is my full face with the Juno and Company sponge. This sponge is really a all for one kind of sponge. Like I said, I go out of town all the time, you guys, like literally all the time. And I always forget at least like five things. And one of those five things or two of those five things are always my brushes. I always forget them, always, always, always. But now I'm a little bit more comforted knowing that as long as I have my Juno and Company sponge with me, I'll be okay when I'm traveling. I can do my eyeshadow, my eyebrows, my contour, my setting powder, my lipstick, and I can even wipe everything off with this and it'll be a-okay. So I definitely recommend you guys get this. It's only six bucks. I'll go ahead and leave their website link down below. And if you guys want to enter into the Juno and Company challenge too, I'll leave the rules below and um, their hashtag that they're using. If you do end up winning, you can be chosen for I think it's like three things. Um, I'll go ahead and my hands, I know they're all dirty. Um, I'll go ahead and insert all that stuff in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning into Gabby's Worldview. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys could subscribe, I would love it. Please be expecting more videos about beauty, lifestyle, fun stuff, just like chit chats, vlogs, all that kind of fun stuff, especially with the holidays coming up. I will also be doing some baking videos. So thank you guys for tuning in again. This is Gabby with Gabby's Worldview. Bye guys. I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to clean the sponge. So all I'm using is just the Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Just put shampoo all over it. And just kind of rub it, rub it all in. I like having warm water on. And just wring it out.